Congratulations on your new Roku video doorbell. We're going to walk you through how to get started. Here's what should be in your box. Got everything? Great, let's keep moving. Grab your smartphone and let's download the Roku Smart Home app. After it's downloaded, open the Roku Smart Home app and sign in with your Roku account. Don't have a Roku account yet? Now's the time to create one. You may need to set up two-factor authentication. Next, allow access to your location while you're using the app. When you're prompted to allow notifications, select Allow to receive motion and sound notifications. You can customize notifications later in your settings. See that plus sign in the app? Press it. Then add device. Then cameras and doorbells. Then choose your doorbell. You're doing great so far. We'll start by bypassing your home's existing chime so that when guests ring the doorbell, the sound comes from your Roku chime. We'll have to work with some electrical wiring. If at any point you don't feel comfortable working with the electrical wires or feel overwhelmed, stop and call your local electrician for help. Make sure the power to your doorbell chime is off by flipping your breaker switch. Locate your existing chime box. That's what makes noise when your guests press your doorbell. Remove the chime box cover and take a photo with your phone of the wiring. Next, make note of what the wiring looks like in your chime box. If your house has one doorbell, there should be two wires. If your house has two doorbells, there should be three wires. Make sure the power is still off then, use your screwdriver to disconnect the wires. Once disconnected, connect the two wires to each other with the fuse wire. Now cover those wires with the wire caps. Attach the chime box covering and you're good to go! Now let's install your doorbell. First, make sure the power to your doorbell is off. Use your screwdriver to remove your doorbell from the wall and disconnect the wires in the back. Now, choose whether you'd like to use a wedge plate or a wall plate. The wedge plate positions the doorbell at an angle for a wider view, whereas a wall plate will place your doorbell flush with the wall. Pass the wire from the wall through your plate, then screw the plate into the wall. Get your video doorbell and the included wires. Loosen the screws on the back. Attach the forked part of your wire to the first screw, then repeat the step for the next wire and screw. Tighten those screws. You're making excellent progress. Pair the wires from your doorbell with the exposed wall wires and cover them with the provided wire caps. Twist the caps and tug the wires gently to make sure everything's secure. Now, go to your breaker and turn the power on. Your doorbell should be flashing yellow. If not, turn the power back off and recheck your wiring. Your doorbell should say, Ready to connect. If it doesn't, press the reset button on your doorbell. Select your Wi-Fi network and log in. Quick note, the doorbell won't work on a 5 GHz network, so make sure your phone is connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Now you'll see a QR code on the mobile app. Hold your phone about 5 inches away from the camera lens so it can scan the QR code. Not scanning? Try changing the distance between the camera and your smartphone, or moving your phone from side to side. A blue light will flash, and a voice will confirm your setup successful. Bluetooth is connected. Now, a super fun part. Name your doorbell whatever you'd like. Okay, let's do a status check. Make sure your doorbell has a solid blue light and it's not flashing. That means your doorbell works. Tuck the wires back into the wall and fasten your doorbell to the plate. Now it's time to pair your doorbell and chime. Let's go back to the mobile app. When you set up your doorbell, you should have been prompted to add a Roku chime. Tap Add a Roku Chime, and then tap Next. Plug your Chime into a power outlet. Press and hold the Roku button on the top of the Chime until the blue light flashes three times. The app will now search for your Chime. If it doesn't pair, try moving your Chime to an outlet closer to where your doorbell is installed. You're all paired up and ready to start using your doorbell. Congrats! You get a 14-day free trial of Roku Smart Home subscription to access your doorbell's advanced features, make sure to sign up for the full subscription before your trial is up. For further tips, troubleshooting, and how to pair your doorbell with Alexa or Google Assistant, head to go.roku.com doorbells.
Thanks for watching. Welcome home to Roku.